tired of adding long, ugly looking links into your PowerPoint presentations or having to insert a screenshot of a website for reference? Hey guys, I'm Sarah, and today I'm gonna to show you how to get rid of all of that and instead access a full functioning Google internet browser right from within your PowerPoint presentation. So no longer do you have to stop your presentation and break it off by following those links to open up a completely new window. To achieve this, it only takes two steps, so let's jump in. At this time, PowerPoint doesn't have their own native way for you to insert a live website into your presentation. But the good news is we can download a free PowerPoint add-in to do this. Today, we're gonna to be using ClassPoint, which has an added teaching tool belt where you can instantly insert that live web page and begin searching at any time during your presentation. Or to be a little bit more prepared, you can go ahead and bookmark and pin some of those sites beforehand. So step one is to download ClassPoint for free at classpoint.io. ClassPoint plugs right into your PowerPoint presentation, so you'll see it in your PowerPoint ribbon where you'll have access to all of the tool settings and the ClassPoint toolbar when you're in your presentation mode. So this toolbar houses the embedded browser, which we are going to use along with some other presentation tools like the name picker and the timer. If you guys are interested in any of these features, take a look at the videos linked down below. Step two is just to go ahead and begin using that live website in your presentation. To do so, click on the embedded browser icon from the toolbar and Google will open and you guys can begin searching the web. Use this browser like you would any other internet browser. You can navigate the web, scroll through different websites and even open up new tabs. When you click on the exit button up here, it just minimizes back down into the icon so you guys can continue on with your presentation. And if you need it again, you can just go ahead and open it and you'll continue right where you left off. This is super convenient for any presentation on the fly. But if you do wanna start your presentation with a website already prepared, you guys can bookmark and pin that website that you wanna start with. So go ahead and start by going to the site that you will want to pin. So I have this one about some interesting facts that I want to pull up right when we talk about if the earth is round or not. So from here, let's just click on the star icon. I can click okay. And then let's open up our bookmarks page. So you'll see all of the pages that you have bookmarked. That way you can easily find them and access them pretty quick. But to start your presentation even a little bit more prepared, we can go ahead and pin this to our homepage. So click on the pin icon next to the website that you want to pin to your homepage. And then when you open up a new tab or open up that browser for the first time, you'll see it right on screen. Then with one click, you can easily access that website and don't have to take the time to search it up. If you guys do want to annotate or add any extra information onto this website, you can go ahead and insert it as a slide right into your PowerPoint presentation. Then you can begin using the annotation tools to add any of that extra information that you need right onto the page. This is great for infographics, maps, text, simulations to highlight or add any extra information right onto that slide to engage and elaborate for your audience. And that is it, everyone. You can now access your very own live website in PowerPoint during any presentation. Whether you wanna utilize this for going through an interactive educational website, showing your audience some data, searching for some answers, or walking through your audience some instructions before you let them go, this dynamic embedded browser is a very helpful resource for any live presentation. Download from classpoint.io.